The biography of Kimen is among the shortest in Plutarch's collection, yet it paints the picture of an exceptional military commander and politician. As the son of Miltiades, Plutarch notes that Kimen spent much of his early life in obscurity before rising to prominence during the Battle of Salamis. In 478 BC, he and Aristides worked to form the Delian League to fight against the Persians, with Kimen as commander-in-chief of the combined military forces. For 15 years, Kimen and the Greeks battled the Persians in Asia and won back many of the lost Greek territories, which culminated in a decisive victory at the Battle of the Eurymedon. Among his many conquests was his liberation of the island of Skyros from local piracy in 475 BC. It is here that Kimen also recovered the bones of the legendary hero Theseus and brought them back to Athens for proper burial. Although his military success made him one of the greatest men in Athens, Kimen's alliance with the aristocracy made him a target for accusations and trials regarding his professional and personal conduct. His interest in Spartan culture and his willingness to support them in political matters further incensed the Athenians towards him. When the Spartans requested help in the wake of an uprising in Laconia, Kimen led a contingent of soldiers to assist them, but the Spartans turned him away for fear of his reputation. This dishonor was the final blow to the Athenians, and Kimen was ostracized for ten years. In 451 BC, the Athenian general Pericles ordered the return of Kimen to help enact a truce to the conflict between Athens and Sparta. With the truce agreed to, Kimen then led the Athenians to the island of Cyprus to fight the Persians and avoid another war with Sparta. During the expedition, Kimen died mysteriously in 450 BC due to an illness or possibly from an injury suffered from the Persians. His death was concealed for a time before his remains were brought to Attica for burial. Athens would secure peace with Persia in the following year, ending the Greco-Persian Wars, but her political tensions with Sparta would continue until 431 BC, culminating in the Peloponnesian War. And now we shall turn our attention to his Roman counterpart. Though he is remembered for his generalship and his immense wealth, Lucius Licinius Lucullus is often overshadowed by the legacies of men such as Sulla, Pompey, and Caesar. As the descendant of a prominent Roman family, he rose to power under Sulla during the 80s BC. As quaestor, Lucullus oversaw coin manufacturing for the support of Sulla's war against Mithridates VI in Greece and Asia. Upon Sulla's return to Rome, Lucullus was left in charge of managing the Asian territory under Roman rule. In 74 BC, Lucullus was appointed to the consulship and assigned to govern the province of Cilicia in order to undertake the newest campaign against Mithridates. The bulk of Plutarch's account on Lucullus tells the story of his exploits in the east against Mithridates and the Armenian king Tigranes II over a period of six years. Among the most notable actions of Lucullus include sieges of small towns, several pitched battles, and even a failed reconnaissance mission against Lucullus. For his persistence and his many victories, many of the Asian residents regarded Lucullus as a liberator with a character for justice and peace. But by 66 BC, Lucullus was forced to give up the eastern campaigns because of the licentious nature of the Roman legions. The riches he had won on account of the wars had fostered corruption among the soldiers, who were openly refusing to follow their general. Command of the legions shifted over to Pompeius Magnus, and Lucullus returned to Rome to celebrate a triumph. Instead of pursuing a career in politics as an older man, Lucullus chose to retire to a life of extravagant leisure. Among his many constructed properties in Italy 
were the gardens of Lucullus, a luxurious summer villa where he hosted guests for parties and discourses. He even maintained a collection of Latin and Greek books in a library which was accessible to everyone. Around 57 BC, Lucullus would pass away due to poisoning from one of his own slaves, and his brother Marcus organized a splendid funeral in his honor. After his death, Roman governance would continue to decline with Pompeius, Caesar, and Marcus Crassus wrestling for control of the Republic, leading to civil war. <laughs>